just a taste of the beautiful sound that comes from Joel Camps, a Calgary-based artist. We're going to talk about everything from his new album to his roots. But first, let's talk about, yeah, being based out of Calgary, born and raised there. Do you feel like that has kind of been the basis of a lot of your music and helped you grow as an artist over the years, having those southern Alberta roots? I think, uh, yeah, definitely being an Albertan especially. I like, I really love the outdoors and I find a lot of inspiration from uh, Albertan uh, imagery, um, Rocky Mountain folklore, kind of s the stories that uh, kind of shape who we are as a, as a people in our province. Um, living in Calgary when I was younger, I think, uh, I don't know if I had a, the fullest appreciation for it. It's a, a wonderful city, just like most, most cities, but uh, I think it took me, uh, I needed to leave for a little bit and to come back to fully understand how, how good we have it there. And, yeah. And uh, you describe yourself as Rocky Mountain folk pop. What what would you describe that genre as? Uh, that's, that's unique. I haven't heard that before. Uh, I'd call it kind of singer songwriter storyteller. So it's a, got a little bit of influence from uh, country, a little bit of folk, a little bit of pop. And uh, let's talk about the new album. Is it Heads is East and Tails is West? You actually cover a lot of Alberta culture on the album. There's even songs from our own area, the Hillcrest Mine Disaster. You do have a song kind of dedicated to that. What was the process of putting this album together? Where did you pull these these inspirations from? Uh, well, we got a uh, Alberta Foundation for the Arts grant to put together this new record. Um, our previous record won a Western Canadian Music Award and things have been kind of uh, snowballing well, so it's good. The album's filled with all sorts of stories. We got the uh, Hillcrest Mine Disaster of 1914. We touched a little bit on kind of my agricultural roots. Uh, all my relatives grew up in uh, Lacombe, Red Deer area, all involved with dairy and agriculture production. So, got kind of close ties to that. And uh, talk about uh, I got married on the day of the flood last year to my wife. There's a song on on the new record about that as well. And uh, road tripping was a big theme, traveling, adventure, and just kind of pursuing your dreams. Sounds like a sprinkle of everything in there you got going on. It. That yeah. sounds really that amazing and definitely beautiful. an album you want to Excellent. check out. Let's talk again about growing up. You you didn't just dabble in folk. You were very interested, it sounds like, in all areas of music. Do you yeah. think that made you more of a well-rounded artist and exposed you to different sounds and beats? Uh, I definitely had some pretty big exposure to some very different types of music. I used to uh, scream in a hardcore band. Yeah, We used to even come tour down to Lesbridge here and play just down the street. I think it's given kind of a bit of a, uh, a different background to approach kind of e even typical folk music from uh, starting out in other, on other genres before finding the uh, guitar. If someone wants to check out the new album, some of your past music, where can they go, Joel? Do you have a website, Twitter, anywhere someone yep. can find you? You can find us on the web at uh, joelcamps.com. So it's J-O-A-L-K-A-M-P-S. I'm named after my grandfathers, John and Albert. So that's how they did that. You can find us on Twitter, on Facebook, Instagram, all those things. Just look for the name. Perfect. Yeah, it's unique. I think it's easy to find. Thank you so much, Joel, for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Here's just another taste of the beautiful sound of Joel Camps.